Hi, hi, children. Hi, hi, children of the Lord. Amen. Welcome to the Bedtime Bible Stories brought to you by the Church of Pentecost USA Inc. Children's Ministry. I'm Auntie Persis, and today's Bible story will be taken from the 101 Bible Bedtime Stories. And today, we are going to be reading on Noah building an ark. So let's begin. Noah builds an ark. Years passed and soon there were lots of people in the world, but they were becoming more and more wicked and this made God sad. He made up his mind to destroy everything with a terrible flood. But there was one good man on the earth who loved and obeyed God. His name was Noah. God told Noah to build an enormous boat, an ark, so he and his family might be saved, along with two of every living creature. People thought Noah was silly building a boat in the middle of the land, and they made fun of him. But he ignored them because he trusted in God. It took Noah and his three sons a long, long, long time to build the ark. But when it was finished, Noah and his wife and his sons and their wives loaded it with food for themselves and the animals. Then God sent the animals to the ark to by two, one male and one female of every kind of animal and bird that lived on the earth or flew in the skies. Once they were all safely in, God closed the door behind them. The flood. Now it began to rain and how it rained. Water poured down from the skies and covered all the land. Every living creature was drowned. All the towns and cities were washed away. But the ark and its precious cargo floated safely on a world of water. For 40 days and 40 nights, it rained. Then at last, it stopped. After a while, the flood waters began to go down. Noah sent out a dove and it returned with an olive leaf in its bleak. Noah knew the flood was over for the trees were growing again. It was time for Noah and the animals to leave the ark. Noah was filled with gratitude and God promised to never again send such a dreadful flood. He put a beautiful rainbow in the sky to remind everyone of this promise. Amen. You see, because Noah was in right standing with God, him and his family were able to be saved from this flood. We can learn a lot from Noah by being obedient to God. <laughs>